Woo doggy! Woo doggy! Woo doggy! And welcome to another episode of Trippy Food! Yeehaw! Today we're going to do something a little bit crazy. <laughs> Alright, enough of that voice. Um, we got, as a part of our Christmas gift from Claudia, uh, aka Mrs. is Trippy Food, uh, this, uh, this wonderful little packet of bacon hot chocolate from uh, Redneck Cafe is the uh, company. And uh, so it's apparently it's hot chocolate that's flavored like bacon. Now, looking at the ingredients, I am seeing uh, sugar, whey, non-fat dry milk, cocoa powder, creamer, corn syrup solid, sodium caseinate, dipotassium phosphate, natural flavors, salt, guar gum. I don't see bacon. I'm not sure where the bacon comes from. Uh, the direction says place contents of the packet into a six to eight ounce hot water not boiling, stir and enjoy. So, I'm assuming this is six to eight ounces, this nice cup that we got from the Oregon Renaissance Fair. And um, we're gonna go ahead and put that in there and we're gonna see if, true to form, it does taste like bacon and hot chocolate. Now chocolate and bacon, they go well together. It's a nice combination to, uh, together. But we're gonna see how well that works. So we're gonna put the contents of the packet. I, I, I wish I could give you some of this, but it's hot. And it's got all kinds of other stuff in it. And it's got sugar in it, which is not good for you. Do you understand that? You do understand, right? Okay. Otherwise, I would give it to you. You know that. This dog has to get his own show. All right, so. There's the hot chocolate. I know, it smells good, doesn't it, dude? It could make you sick. You're not supposed to have chocolate. It does smell a little bakery, though. Seriously, I'm getting a little bit of smoke. I don't know if it's like an artificial bacon smell. That could just be me. Anyways, so here's our water. Let's go ahead and put that in there. It says not boiling, but you know, I didn't know how long to let it sit. And I'm not gonna put too much water in there because I like my hot chocolate thick. I'm seeing like, you see the steam coming off this thing? That looks deadly hot. It's very, very hot. It's a weird smell. I can't say it smells like bacon. There's a weird smell, maybe a smoky smell, and maybe that's what they do. They get, they put a, like a smoke smell uh, flavor in there. But it's not like, it's not like a bacon smell. Let's see if this, this looks really, really hot. It's not too hot. I don't know why it looks so hot. Now, it tastes like hot chocolate. It tastes like a decent hot chocolate. You know, it might taste better if you added milk, like you use warm, warm milk or hot milk. That might be nicer. That rich, rich chocolatey taste. Now, I was getting a bacon smell from that, or a bacon-y smell, and I'm not getting a lot of bacon taste in that. Yeah, not a lot of bacon taste in that. I'm, and I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know what? I'm gonna save the situation. So, what I'm gonna do is this. I fried up some bacon and uh, chopped it up really fine. And, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Stir that up. And then, we'll see if it tastes like hot chocolate should taste with bacon in it. All right. No change in the smell. That's nice. For some reason, maybe maybe bacon doesn't permeate well. Now I would think the hot water in there, it would extract whatever's in the bacon and kind of permeate that the hot chocolate. Maybe there's only so much bacon you can put in before it really starts to be pre uh, you know, prevalent. Yeah, 
It's nice, and it's funny because that's like a strip of bacon there, and um, and it doesn't it doesn't really change much. So you know, maybe I am tasting bacon in here, but it's just that the the chocolate is so strong that um, you don't really get so much of the bacon. I'm getting more of the smell now. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a thumbs up. I mean, it, it, like, I was expecting like, wow, kick in the face bacon uh, taste, and I'm not really getting that, but it's still good. It's still good, it's still tasty, it's still good hot chocolate. So I'm gonna get it, go ahead and give that a thumbs up. I believe this came from Cost Plus World Market, so if there's one near you, uh, go ahead and pick one of these up and give it a try. You know, uh, especially if you're living up north, you know, where it's nice and cold, uh, right now it's, uh, what is it, like March or something? It's probably still brisk out there. You know, come out from uh, shoveling snow or whatever it is that you're doing in the cold weather. Come in, make yourself a nice mug of this. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. So, yep, that would get a thumbs up for me. So, we gave it a shot. Um, I don't know that I would have a lot of this on hand. And oh, oh, so that's, part of what's missing is the saltiness, but when I get a little piece of the bacon in there, and then it, it imparts that saltiness and everything, that's really nice. So. Um, I'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up and say if you get a chance to try that, especially when it's nice and cool out and, you know, uh, sit yourself in the living room in front of a nice roaring fire, unless you don't have a fireplace, then don't do that. Uh, but uh, but other, other than that, it's a pretty good drink, drink and it's going to get a thumbs up for me. So remember that it's still crazy out there, so please take care of yourself. Please take care of others. Please be careful and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.